According to his CEO, Cheryl Yeo, the government is serious about assisting budding entrepreneurs to boost up their startups by making it a national priority through MAGIC. Since its inception in April, MAGIC has engaged more than 16,000 young people. Moving forward, she says, the government can build private investors' confidence by helping them de-risk their funds. For example, uh, if an investor wants to, if a, a private investor wants to put in 10 million into a fund, the government can match another 10 million, so the fund becomes 20 million. And I believe uh, policies like that would encourage more uh, private money to come into startups. The matching scheme allows the private sector to, uh, you know, to encourage the private sector to come in, right? And then eventually, after a few years, hopefully the private sector would take over 100% completely, as it has in uh, the Silicon Valley, for example. It's all private funding. But uh, 50 years ago, it was fueled by government funding. Uh, a lot of startup nations have been fueled by co government funding initially. It's just a matter of when do you wean off, how, when do you flip the equation. The private funding, she says, will also promote mentorship and greater market access to these startups. She also noted that the recognition of the MSC Malaysia status should not be limited to larger corporations. The policy should be tweaked to assist startups to leverage on the benefits of the status. And that enables them to, uh, entitles them to some benefits like uh, tax-free for I believe five years plus five years and then enable them to hire uh, foreign technical talent into Malaysia as well. However, it's, it's uh, you know, suited for larger companies, I guess, larger tech companies uh, and perhaps a, uh, Perhaps MSC status could be improved or tweaked to also uh, enable the younger startups to apply for it easily and to hire uh, technical talent. Uh, you know, for example, there's a lot of great technical talent from Bandung, Indonesia, that uh, you know could come to Malaysia and help our entrepreneurs build products. So I think some uh, some policy tweaks there could could uh, be helpful. Cheryl also noted that our country is strategically located to spearhead the startup movement in Southeast Asia. The government, she says, can encourage more SEA founders from Thailand, Indonesia or Philippines to start their companies in Malaysia by tweaking policies to attract this group. The Magic CEO also says that social enterprises are fast becoming a trend in our country. As such, the government should allocate a special fund to support this group with the potential to transform markets for social good.